Hello mga ka-Alien, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir DL and welcome to The Aliens Vlog and Math Tutorials. For today, we will be having another math tutorial and it's all about perimeter. I know all of you are excited. Let's proceed. So before we start, let's state the objectives of this lesson. Number one, discuss perimeter. Number two, identify the formulas of perimeter of a triangle, square, and rectangle. Number three, solve the perimeter of a triangle, square, and rectangle. Before we proceed to the main lesson, always remember, always do your best and God will do the rest. Again, always do your best and God will do the rest. What is perimeter? Perimeter is the total sum distance around a two-dimensional shape such as triangle, rectangle, square, and so on and so forth. So, perimeter is the total sum distance around a two-dimensional shape. Let's now move on on how to get the perimeter of a triangle. So, the formula to be used will be perimeter is equal to side A plus side B plus side C. Example, side A is equal to 4, side B is equal to 5, side C is equal to 6. So, that means side A is 4, Side B will be 5 and side C will be 6. So 4 plus 5 plus 6, that is 4 plus 5, that is 9 plus 6, that is 15. The perimeter of the given triangle is 15. That will be our formula. Perimeter is equal to A plus B plus C. For example, same formula, A plus B plus C, where A is 8 inches, B is 11 inches, C is 10 inches, so we will be substituting the value of the sides on the given formula. A is 8 inch inches, B is 11 inches, C is 10 inches. We just need to add all the sides. 8 plus 11, that is 19 plus 10, that is 29 inches. As simple as that. For perimeter of a triangle, just add side A, side B, and side C. So next, what if missing side A, given side B, side C is 16 centimeter, perimeter is 41 centimeter? What will be our formula? Formula will be P minus B minus C. The perimeter minus side B minus side C. So given, we have 41 centimeter for the perimeter, minus 13 centimeter for side B, minus 16 centimeter for side C, that means 41 centimeter minus 13 centimeter, that is 28 centimeters. Minus 16 centimeters, that is 12 centimeters. That is the answer for side A. What that is? Side A, 12 centimeters. I hope you followed. Let's move on to the perimeter of a square. What is the formula for the perimeter of the square? Perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by S where S is the side. As we all know, square has four equal sides. That's why we just need to multiply four times the given. For example, the given side is 15 centimeter. Our formula is perimeter is equal to four multiplied by S, which is 15 centimeters. Four multiplied by 15 centimeters, that is 60 centimeter. Very good. Let's have another example, same formula, perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by the size of the sides. So given side is equal to 20 meters, so what will be the perimeter of the given square? So perimeter is equal to 4 multiplied by the side, that is 20 meters. That means the answer is 80 meters. The perimeter of the given square is 80 meters. Next example, what if given is the perimeter and the size of the side is missing? What will be the formula to be used? The formula to be used will be like this. Side is equal to the perimeter divided by 4. Again, side is equal to the perimeter divided by 4. So that is, the, the perimeter is 100 meters divided by 4. So what is 100 divided by 4? That is 25 meters. 100 meters divided by 4, that is 
25 meters. That will be the formula to be used in order for you to find the side of a square. In order for you to find the perimeter of a square, just simply multiply by 4 the given side. That is the perimeter of a square. Moving on, on the perimeter of a rectangle, our formula will be like this. P is equal to multiply by the length, which is L, plus 2 multiplied by the width, which is the width. W is the width. Give an example. Length is equal to 15 centimeters and width is equal to 22 centimeters. So we will be substituting the value of our length there to multiply by this. 2 multiply by the width, that is 22 centimeters. It, be, it will be like this. 2 multiply by the length, that is 15 centimeters. 2 multiply by the width, that is 22 centimeters. What's the first process? Multiply. 2 multiply by 15 centimeters, that is 30 centimeters. 2 multiply by 22 centimeters, that is 44 centimeters. So that is 2 multiplied by 15 centimeters, that is 30 centimeters. 2 multiplied by 22 centimeters, that is 44 centimeters. The first step, multiply. Second one, we add 30 centimeters plus 44 centimeters, that is 74 centimeters. 30 centimeters plus 44 centimeters, that is 74 centimeters. That means the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 74 centimeters. The formula for the perimeter of a rectangle is equal to 2 multiplied by the length plus 2 multiplied by the width. Let's have another example. Given the length of the rectangle is 25 centimeters and the width is 18 centimeters, find the perimeter. Perimeter is equal to 2 multiplied by the length, which is 25 centimeters. 2 multiplied by the width, which is 18 centimeters. The first step will be multiplying. 2 multiplied by 25 centimeters, that is, very good, 50 centimeters. 2 multiplied by 18 centimeters, that is, very good, 36 centimeters. 2 multiplied by 25 centimeters, that is, 50 centimeters and 2 multiplied by 18 centimeters that is 36 centimeters then we add 50 plus 36 that is 86 centimeters the, re the perimeter of the given rectangle is 86 centimeters another example what if givens are width is 42 centimeters perimeter is given 238 centimeters and the length is missing. What will be our formula? The formula will be like this. Length is equal to the perimeter minus 2 multiplied by the width over 2. Again, the perimeter minus 2 multiplied by the width divided by 2. Let's have an example. So like this one, the perimeter is 238 centimeters. We have 2, 2. Multiply by the width, which is 42 centimeters, divided by 2. What will be our first process? We multiply. 2 multiply by 42. 2 multiply by 42. That is 84 centimeters. Then copy 238 over 2. 2 multiply by 42 centimeters. That is 84 centimeters. Next. We minus, very good, 238 minus 84 centimeters, 238 minus 84 centimeters, that is 154 centimeters, 238 centimeters minus 84 centimeters, that is 154 centimeters, then we copy the denominator which is 2. The last one is divide. We divide. 154 divided by 2, the answer is 77 centimeters. That means the length of a given rectangle is 77 centimeters. That is the length. The width is 42, the perimeter is 238 centimeters. What is our formula for the perimeter of a triangle? That is side A plus side B plus side C, that is for the perimeter of a triangle. 
How about for the perimeter of a square? Perimeter of a square is equal to 4 multiplied by the side. Very good. The formula for the perimeter of a square is 4 multiplied by the side. How about for the perimeter of a rectangle? For the perimeter of the rectangle, perimeter is equal to 2 length plus 2 width or 2 times length plus 2 times width. And that ends our discussion for today. I hope you learned something. Before I end this video, I would like to remind you, be mindful, be grateful, be positive, be true, be kind. This is Sir DL and thank you for watching. God bless you. God loves you. See you on the next tutorial.